Good morning and Happy New Year 2022. When will I have this video out? Certainly well within 2022, but hopefully not too far in there. This is my bedroom. This is where I spent the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. I fell asleep uh, after Detroit's New Year. Yeah, anyway, this is this is my beautiful, humble abode, courtesy of Ninja at the Seaside Auto House. Thank you, brother. That was very kind of you to let me sleep in your in your workout room. But it is not that bad. That futon folds down. And I have my bed and everything from the van, so I just sort of pulled it I pulled it into here, and that's that's that. But it is morning time, and we are going to go look at the second coat of uh, the thermal deadener, thermal audio, thermal deadener, thermal coating, audio, sound deadener, the 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 the, the sound deadener. We have the second coat of the sound deadener in the van right now. I haven't seen it yet. I'm very nervous. Because if it's all cracking and shit, I am, I'm just going to have to, and then just move on. Realize I'm not the best painter. This is, this is like my first paint job ever. Thank God it's on, on a surface that doesn't need to be shiny. It's actually kind of nice to do sound deadener as your first paint project because you can kind of brutalize it. Literally, you could basically brutalize it and you'd be all right, so... Let's turn on the lights, because I don't want to see. Mama told me not to come. You guys know that song? Mama, turn out the lights, because I don't want to see. Which, I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. You know what, the, the light, the better light is on the other side. So let's, let's crisscross this bad boy and go across to the other side. I've had the wind blowing and uh, the fan, the box fan going. So it should be good. I don't even, <laughs> I'm not looking at it yet. I'm not looking, I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at you guys. Looks dark in there. Looks like a cave. Actually quite nice for video. Maybe I shouldn't even put in any interior in there. Just leave it with that lizard skin. I mean, if I had a strip light like this, like on this wall on the inside, that'd be great. Okay. I just looked. I just looked out of the corner of my eye. Let's turn the fan off so we get, we get good audio when I, when I take a look at this. <laughs> I am actually really nervous. I'm, uh, I, I don't have a lot of self-confidence. I, th I think I did a bad job. But I got an A for effort. I put in a lot of effort. Let, let's, let's see. Let's take a look at the door first before I look at the interior. So this is the door and there's a railing in there. You can see the foil I have wrapped around it now. Right, right there, right there. If I take that off, I can show you. You see that? Oh, you can see it right away. You see that spray? You see that spray right there? That's that's supposed to be soft. I sprayed right in that thing. Again. It's easier to get in from the back. I can't believe I sprayed in that. I wonder if I can... I don't know, maybe I can replace that railing. Or maybe the window will just slide down into it. I don't know. I mean, glass windows are pretty strong. As that thing gonna, is going to go down, I don't think it will do any any damage. Maybe I could even take some sandpaper and like sand it down. I don't know. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking. Looks good. Looks good, folks. Look at this. So this all peeled completely off the first time. And this was completely peeled off the first time, but I, I sanded it, gave it some love. This this piece this piece was totally off, but I hit it with the I hit all of this, and this pad this pad was completely off. This whole thing came totally off. Very good, very good. 
There's some little peels here. It's good. Okay. Here we go. All right. Doors. That little piece is in there good. Everything is good. Even this. This was peeling. But this is good. All right. We are cooking with gas now. Oh, here's a little piece. Oh, that's stuck to the ceiling pretty well. Very happy with that. All right. I still have a I still have a bucket and a half. I wonder if I should just spray that bucket and a half on like right like right now. Just spray it. Find spots, put it on the ceiling. Put it on the floor. I'll tell you one thing, I gobbed the hell out of these wheel wells. I gobbed them. Gob gobbed. Yeah. Jio. This would be a nice place to actually put another coat. The headliner. I think I'll do that. Anyways, Happy New Year and good morning. All right. Oh, that's it. Uh, the uh, sound deadener is dead. There is no more. Uh, there's no more to be sprayed. I sprayed everything. You know what's crazy? I put two really solid coats on, and when I did this this third like extra, I didn't even think I was gonna do it. I found a lot of places I missed, which is incredible. It's incredible that there were still spots that I missed. I mean, I gobbed it on, but I really gobbed it on this time. Oh, it's heavy stuff, you know, but what they said at, at Lizard Skin in Houston is that it's water-based. Most of that weight is water weight. So as it uh, cures, it'll lose a lot of that weight just through evaporation. And then once it's... Uh, once it's finished uh, curing, then, you know, it's just pretty much solid. You know, it's it's all, all, almost a impermeable layer. I'm going to do a cleanup. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's 2.17. Holy cow, we finished somewhat early. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, okay. Oh. I'll give you a tour a little later. But first of all, let me give you a tour of my suit. Because it is it is quite revealing so this is the front the easy access to the crotch and then easy access to the butt I mean it, it was useful though I mean it protected most of my body and especially the front side just just didn't protect the butt very much the other thing is I haven't gone to the gym a lot recently but holding that Holding that sprayer above my head and doing the the ceiling. Woo! Exactly. I'm gonna turn that off. That guy is a little engine that could. Uh, Ninja said he bought that at uh, that compressor at uh, Harbor Freight, and he's like, I don't know if that's gonna last too long. So this is the second batch. Tomorrow we will start with the first can, and. I, I watched online and some people said that they coated two coats a day, whereas this is like one for every 24 hours. This is going to cure for 24 hours. Tomorrow I'll start with that. And maybe we can kick out a bunch of these uh, these insulation uh, coatings. This can is getting obliterated. Let's see if I can wash things off before it starts curing too much. All right, guys, we are cleaned up. It's later in the day. I went out and had a calzone from the local pizza shop, and I drove around, got some things. I cleaned up my sprayer I took it all apart bits and pieces I had it and I rinsed it off and I think it's all good I have the table set up for tomorrow with a new hazmat suit and the lizard skin insulation and my stir stick tomorrow I'll get the uh, water ready and have that ready to go but 
why don't I take you inside and I can show you how it looks. This is this is the end of the Souden Deadner. All right, so we have a, a very solid layer on. It's already pretty hard. Um, you know, it's kind of funny because there was a lot of uh, like insulation and adhesive stuck on and I just sort of sprayed over it because all of this stuff is going to either be a window here or I'm going to have, you know, wood uh, or, or fascia here that is going to cover up all this stuff. So everything that you pretty much see the lizard skin on is going to be covered. So it, it's not that important if it looks ugly. To be honest, I was thinking that the, um, the insulation that might be there could be like sort of a, an opportunity for the lizard skin to stick to it. And in many cases it did. Um, I also got in inside these areas and the, that was kill mat. So I painted right over that. Again, inside all these corridors, spraying all the way up into those areas. I think I did a pretty good job. Got, got a really, really solid coat all over. Uh, doubled up, tripled up in, inside these, these areas especially. And then like I said, the, the, I couldn't get all this insulation off, but it, it kind of helped to grab on to the uh, lizard skin. And so when I sprayed it, it just sort of gobbed on. I think that's one of the reasons that it stuck to the kill mat. I don't know if I'd recommend, you know, doing this over kill mat like I did, but I think if you were to do it, this is probably the best way to do it. I mean, it is on there really, really good. This, this area here and that area there is going to be a wall. Like this is my entertainment center is going to be here. And then my overhead uh, videos area for unboxings and stuff is going to be there. This is going to be a window. That's going to be a window. That's going to be a window. This is going to be a window and this is going to be a window. So no need to paint there. And this will be interesting to... It'll be interesting to like record some differences in the quality of the sound coming through. All the way up in here, uh, all the way up. I think I got back there pretty good. That whole area is done really solid, even down to the floor. That's pretty good here as well. I got deep into that area there. Obviously the headliner has been done very well. And then I had a little bit of extra at the very end. So I just basically dumped it, dumped it down here, which was nice and uh, along the, the cockpit area. I did lose a few of these earplugs in the, in the threaded holes. So I hope that <laughs> I hope I didn't make myself, uh, my life a little bit too difficult for putting it back together. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it came out better than I expected, and, and that's that's awesome. I think that I didn't I didn't get any overspray too much. I got a couple of little little pieces, but I got them pretty quick. Now that I've sprayed it so many times, uh, this is my third coat. Uh, I think that the uh, the insulation layer should go a lot quicker because I'm sort of got the got my pacing down. All right, guys, that'll be the end of the episode. Uh, tomorrow we start the insulation layer. I'm kind of curious to know how that might lay on, if it lays on any different. I'm, I'm also curious, curious at the end of this, if I've done any really big mistakes when I start pulling the tape off and, you know, uh, I start like articulating door hinges and stuff like that. That's when you realize, oh, I sprayed something I shouldn't have or I overcoated here or something like that and so I'm gonna have to deal with that that sort of problem when it comes but so far pretty cool all right guys take it easy Jayo I'm gonna uh, wrap this up and and uh, get ready for tomorrow as far as the wrap on the hood we were gonna wrap the hood with carbon fiber uh, ninja my my friend who owns this shop he, uh, he says he's not sure if he's gonna be able to get it in time so if he can't get it in time we can wrap the hood if not it's, a, it's good. It would have been a bonus anyways. But talk to you later. Bye.